seeing this more and more. Buy now, pay later. It's a popular way to purchase everything from clothing to car parts, even uh, smaller items like food. My brother likes to buy trips on these. <laughs> I know you've said you have some feelings about this. Yes. So these services allow you to spread the purchase price over several months of monthly payments. Yeah, so uh, local financial instructor Michael Mazram from the Retirement Education Foundation here to talk about the benefits and maybe the pitfalls mm. of buy now, pay later. Is it a good thing? So just like everything else, it is a tool that can be used properly or improperly. So there are some legitimate uses for it. If someone maybe runs into, into some tough luck, um, you know, there's some layoffs happening through the economy right now, and they're out, they're out of a job, they've burnt through their emergency fund, and an emergency happens. We, we blow a tire, we have a car issue. It can be useful because we can split these payments up into four, three, four or five payments, they're all a little bit different. And a lot of times not incur a lot of interest. The problem is people start using it more than they should and they start spending more than they should because they feel like they have more purchasing power than they really do. Mm -hmm. uh, is there interest with this stuff? Because my first thought was it's no different than you put on a credit card and then you just pay it 30 days later, but a credit card comes with interest. Do these have interest on them? Right, so everyone's a little bit different, but for the most part, as long as you stick to the payment plan, which on average is typically four payments over four months, that's the typical structure, as long as you stick to the payment plan, you don't have a fee or any interest, which is really enticing compared to credit cards. But the problem is, with a credit card, you swipe it, it's on your account, you can check it, you know how much you owe. With There are so many different uh, apps out there that can do this. You have two payments left on that trip, three payments left on that laptop, yeah. four payments left on that on that burrito bowl that you financed two months ago. <laughs> right. And it, it, starts to, it starts to spiral out burrito of control. Burrito bowl. Um, it, it seems like everybody is offering this. So you mentioned an app. Is there a certain place that you should go for your buy now, pay later? Pay later, for example, you go buy a plane ticket it, it seems like right on the Delta website it says you can break this up into X pages. Yeah, shoot on Amazon, you, know? you have that option. Amazon, now. right. So are these all the same company or is each place offering its own version? So each vendor can offer their own version. There are a couple companies that do it through a, a few different vendors. Mm -hmm. But really, this should be used, it should be almost like an extension of your emergency fund. People ideally should not be just purchasing uh, trips or you know, laptops or things. If they don't need these things, it should yeah. be like an extension of your emergency fund. Yeah. Because some people are spending more than they really should be, and it's spiraling out of control. What is the benefit to the company? So, like Klarna, they're, they're one of the ones that does this, and mm -hmm. buy now, pay later. What do they get out of it? So they get, if you miss a payment, they get fees and interest. Oh. And so that's, it's, they get fees and interest, and they can also, you know, send, if, if you miss a payment, they can send it straight to collections. And that's where things can, get, can start to get hairy, because that'll if it goes to collections, that'll start to hit your credit score. And now, instead of working with a, with a credit card company on a late payment, this is going directly to your credit score. Mm. Well, there you go. Yeah. So, where do we land on it, though? It, so it's, it's just like everything else. It's a tool. It can yeah. be used properly. If someone really is in a tight spot and they need to stretch out their their spending, it can be used properly. If someone's putting everything on credit cards and buy now, pay later, yeah. they probably are spending more than they should be, and they got to start reeling it in. Well, I can absolutely see the benefit if you're if you work in a field like if you're a contractor right. and you have no jobs for this month, but you know you've got three jobs lined up for next month. It mm -hmm. can be a handy thing because you mm -hmm. can say, I can't make the payment now, but next month I'm going to have three different checks coming in, yeah. so I'll, I'll worry about it then. But you're right, if, you, if, if it gets overboard, if the avalanche starts, it's hard to kind of stop that momentum. And how often are people disciplined enough to put the actual money aside right. and just pay it off as opposed to continuing to use that as a tool? For sure, mm -hmm. and if you are going to keep using them, at least try to track everything so you know what's out there. You know how many payments you have left, you know yeah. all your outstanding debt, not just click the purchase, Buy now, pay later, and move on with your life and, and deal with the consequences down the road. All right, Michael Mazarin, thank you, and you will stick around for us, right? You'll yep. be back in our 10 o'clock hour. We're going to talk about alternatives to using these buy now, pay letter services. For more, you can visit retirementplanningedu.org. We'll be right back. Now, uh, our financial instructor, Michael, is back from the first hour where we talked about buy now, pay later. Now, he is from the Retirement Education Foundation. Joining us on this uh, Be Wealthy Wednesday is what I'll call it. Let's talk about the pros and we talked about the pros and cons of the buy now, pay later, Michael. But right now, what are the alternatives? 
So there are a couple of alternatives here. And really, a main alternative is, can we start to build some credit? Mm -hmm. If we're going to be spending, can we build some credit? So number one, you can get a personal loan from your bank. Mm -hmm. Now, that does come with interest, but if you're making the payments on time, you can build credit up. Mm -hmm. The second option is, even with higher interest rates, you know, credit cards right now, there are some credit cards High interest rate. that if you're missing the payments and you're racking up a balance every single month, it can be up to 30% fees. Wow. 30% interest. Now. There are, if you have good credit, there mm -hmm. are some 0% interest options where you can, you can uh, go 15, 18 months with mm -hmm. no interest. Mm -hmm. The key here is so, if someone's going to use that, it's a great deal as long as you make the payments <laughs> before the time expires. Right, right. Because if, if, if you have the cash building up, building up, building up, and you're building up a balance on the 0% uh, credit card, that's great. You're, you're using the debt for free. But if the if the bill slips your mind, the due date slips your mind, yeah. you owe interest on everything back to day one. Wow. It can be really, really expensive. And that, that, that interest can be, what, 25, 26? 20, 25%. Wow. It's a huge wow. number. Now, some people, if some people are, are working on rebuilding credit or building credit for the first time, mm -hmm. they won't qualify for those 0% credit card offers. Right. They can do a secured credit card, and they can put $200, $300 down for a secured credit card. And what does that mean? You put the $200 or $300 down, you have that amount of credit? And you have that amount of credit. Okay. And that's a good way to rebuild your credit or mm -hmm. build credit for the first time if you can't qualify for the, for the better offers. Okay. Uh, that's, I'd like for you to reiterate how important it is to, no matter what, if it's buy now, pay later, if it's one of those uh, zero interest credit cards, it really hits hard if you don't make that payment at that deadline. It can be crippling. And some people have the best of intentions. They have a great system. They have a buy now, pay later system, or they have a system where they, they put all, the, all their spending on a 0% card, and they, put, they, have, they have the cash in the bank account, yeah. but they just miss it. They forget it, or something pops up. And now they owe all that interest. They get hit with late fees. Mm. It can be really damaging. Do you recommend to people, and, and one of my uh, financial guys is big on set it and forget it. Go ahead and set up that auto made it payment with uh, even if you're on a zero interest make it uh, a little bit of a payment so that you're paying something no matter what and that is you know if, if we have an outstanding balance on a zero percent credit card maybe we bought something a larger item right. and we bought on a zero percent credit card they should be chipping away at that over time make the payments as if you did owe interest just to make sure that there's not some balloon payment at the end that now you're scrambling to cover now a lot of people are in a situation and as we end with our, our final minute here a lot of people are in this situation situation where they have the credit card debt now. It's mm -hmm. been those years of trying to keep up right. with the rising cost of everything. Uh, when someone comes to you and they have these huge credit card balances, but they're still in the green with their credit, what do you recommend to people the first thing they do? So keep making the payments. If we have our credit, we're still in agreement with our credit, keep mm -hmm. making the credit card payments. Don't fall behind because if we start to fall behind and mm -hmm. hit our credit, it's hard to rebuild that. Right. And you know, the answer really isn't a fun answer. It's we've got to cut spending or bring in more income. That's just pick the truth, a, isn't it? Pick up a side job, <laughs> maybe skip the vacation and start to pay off the debt. It's pay not it a down. fun answer, but it's the best answer there is. Someone with bad credit, you tell them? Just, you know, the, the, any way, a personal loan, the secured credit cards, there are ways to build the credit back build up. Build the credit back up. Yep. Michael, we appreciate you coming in, man. Great advice for of a course. lot of people out there struggling to make those ends meet. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the time. For more information on Michael and what he does, visit retirementplanningedu.org.